Now. Hello, everybody. Hi, Margaret will be with us here in just a quick moment. I wanted to say hello, Jen, Barbie, Jessica. Hi. Quick moment. To say hello, Jen, Barbie, Jessica. Hi. Quick moment. Hello, Jen, Barbie, Jessica. There we go. I think we're good now. Are we good? We got it. Okay. Lord. It's like Echo though. Um, hi, Kim. Hi, Carrie. Uh, Jennifer, don't start already. No, we're not good now. Um, you, you have to mute the YouTube channel, Juliet. Um, I did. Oh, Juliet. Okay, this is not me. Um, I did. It's going to be Margaret then. This no, but Margaret's mute. muted. Um, it's muted? Mine is mute. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, wait, maybe it's me. <laughs> Hold, yeah, it's totally me. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry about that. It wouldn't be me if there wasn't some kind of cartoony beginning to things, I swear to beans. So hi, uh, Jimmy and Karen. Everybody LOLing at me already? That's about normal, right? <laughs> Par for the course. Take two. Hello, everybody. Welcome so much to Denture Talk. Margaret's going to be back with us here in just a moment. Um, as you guys can see, we have Juliet, the uh, Director of Operations for OTC Dental, the makers of Denture Fit with us. Hi, Juliet. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for being here. Yeah, and she is here to uh, answer all of your questions about DentureFit today and to talk about the wonderment that is DentureFit. Um, I know I am an avid user of the, of the product myself. I can't even get away with a pair of dentures that fit correctly without having my DentureFit cushion in there. I'm so spoiled. Um, let's see, Francesca, hi, you made it. Jessica Curran, I see you. Linda, hi. Lisa C. Barbie doll. Hi, everybody. Juliet, you can see the chat this time around where you couldn't before, correct? That's right. I'm seeing everybody. Hi, Barbie and Jen and Francesca. Barbie doll. Jennifer Harden. Sue Shook. Hi. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining us. Karen. Jessica. Happy you guys are all here. Kim, hi. 28 so I, watching already. Yay. Excellent. So I'll just go ahead and get started. So thank you for joining everybody. And um, I know that some of you have already emailed some questions into Margaret. So when she gets back from walking her dog or whatever she went to go to, um, we'll get her questions. But in the meantime, do any of you have, uh, hold on, I see Sally, when is DentureFit coming to the UK? We're working on it, Sally, we really are. It's, um, it's kind of a long, tedious regulatory process that we have to go through. And we are, at, we are actually in the process of going through it right now. So I can't give you a date or time frame too much yet, but we will be, we are coming. There's a lot involved, but we know you need it. We get requests, many, many requests every day to bring DentureFit especially to the UK um, is our most common request, so we are working on it. Barbie's mouth is sore. Barbie doll, what's going on in your mouth? Oh, okay. Margaret, has anyone had allergic reaction to denture fit? Not that we know of. <laughs> so um, here's one really, really cool thing about denture fit. Denture fit is made of a very cool material called vinyl polysiloxane. That's the technical name for the silicone. And it is one of the gentlest, gentlest materials that dentists use for soft relines and sometimes for even tissue conditioners. 
So some dentists don't use it all the time on a regular basis, um, but they might reserve it for special cases. Maybe somebody has allergies to acrylic. Maybe they might be healing from a surgery and they might have special healing issues going on or problems with infections. They will a lot of times pull out the vinyl polysiloxane because it's such a gentle, gentle material. Um, so a lot of people use DentureFit when they're allergic to their acrylic dentures. The DentureFit makes a really, really nice barrier between the acrylic and their mouth where all those nerve endings are and um, really helps with those issues. So no, we have never yet heard of one person um, allergic to the silicone and denture fit. But, um, you know, if you ever are, you don't want to use it, just continue using it. Um, and I guess, you know, some signs that you might be allergic might be you might feel um, itching or burning, you know, just whatever your normal um, allergy signals might be. Good question. Hope that helps. Uh, I just post a question, uh, but I have to say hello to Dr. Berlin. Dental Solution, they are in the in the chat. I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time. And the next question, Ms. Juliet, um, can you explain the SNUG application? What does it mean? Absolutely. Hi, Dr. B. Gosh, we've heard so much about your products. And um, thank you for being here. That's really cool. Um, let me grab my instruction booklet really fast. Oh, here, here we are. Okay, so the snug up application means that after you do initial and in, in your initial application and you have one cohesive layer of silicone on your denture, maybe you're still not snug. Or maybe you were at first, but as time goes by, you get loose again. So the snug up application fine tunes and it completes filling the voids in the trough area that are making your denture loose. It might be right away on your first application and maybe you need two applicators. So the first application would be this. Three lines on the palette the rest in the trough right here. This is with the first tube. What that does is it makes one cohesive layer, it spreads out, and some people with minor looseness are snug after just this one, but the majority of people are not. That's people with medium looseness or maybe major looseness. And so they need more denture fit in the gum area here to finish filling the voids in the trough area. So that requires what we call a snug up application. So in the snug up application, you will not put any more silicone on the palate. It's only going to go in the trough area. And here's the snug up instructions. It's in the green here at the back of the booklet. And you'll see the illustration here. You put it in the trough, specifically around the middle of the trough is a great place to put it. And the reason for that is you have to finish filling the voids in the trough area. You don't want to put any more on the palate. That would overbuild the palate, would build up the material too much. So you just finish filling those voids in the trough area and then you're snug. Most people are snug after two applications. Immediate denture wearers, there's a chance that they actually may even need a third application, a third applicator in the trough area because their gums are shrinking so much and they just really truly do have that much void to, to be filled. Um, hope that answers your question. If you, if you want to know any more about that, just go ahead and leave another question. I have one more. Uh, now, Juliet, how would you address to those that are in halt, uh, whether they want to purchase DentureFit 
or they have denture fit, but they have witnessed in comments or video uh, about people applying denture fit and loving it. But when it came time to removing denture fit, and they're a little worried. How would you address them? Okay, so denture fit adheres to dentures differently because every denture surface is different, right? So some people may be able to remove the entire liner in just one fell swoop. Others may, it may be so tedious, they wanna pull their hair out to try to get it out because it's coming out in very small pieces. Both scenarios are normal and typical. Denture fit adheres more strongly to a surface that's either rougher or more porous. Okay, so if you have a rougher or more porous surface, it will adhere more strongly. This primer makes a bond between the silicone and the denture. Okay, this makes it stick. So it's the primer that's making that bond. So you got to get the bond up from the primer, which is actually underneath the silicone liner. Okay, so if it's adhering really well, you're kind of lucky <laughs> because then you're getting your money's worth out of it and you're getting the longevity out of the liner that you really need. Um, but when it comes time to take it off, one thing you can do is there's a product called Unisolve and it's an adhesive remover wipe. I have one right here. You can buy them online. You can buy it at walmart.com. You can buy it on Amazon. It's about $8 for a box of 50 wipes. But what it does is it, it releases the bond of adhesive. So you can get the Unisol wipe up underneath the silicone. So in other words, lift a corner of the silicone. Let's see, can you see this? Lift a corner of the silicone start trying to release it, and then use the Unisol, Unisol wipe to get in between the silicone and the denture to release the bond. So, so this has some liquid in it, and you're gonna keep like pushing and squeezing that liquid underneath the silicone, and you'll find it, it will release the bond and be a lot easier to remove. Now, one thing to know is it leaves a little bit of an oily residue on the surface of your denture and you don't want to put that in your mouth so make sure you follow you know the directions wash your denture thoroughly after you use it with dawn dish soap it's great because it takes oily residue you know out of the way and um and then if you're going to reapply denture fit you know you want to wipe down the inside of your denture many times thoroughly with rubbing alcohol just to remove any oily residue that the Unisolve might leave behind. So it's pretty easy, it, pretty, it works pretty well. It's nothing to be afraid of. Um, if you go into, you know, if a dentist was using um, a product like Denture Fit and they need to get it off, you know, sometimes they'll just take a little burr and they kind of buzz it right off. So it's kind of easier for them. But for us, it might be a little bit more tedious, but um, this works really, really well. Oh, Sherry, no, we're not talking about a hard reline. <laughs> okay, we have a question from uh, Sherry Harris, actually. Uh, will DentureFit get back to the monthly plan to make it more affordable to everyone? Hi, Sherry. Um, so we are looking at possibly bringing that back. We've had a lot. We've had a lot of requests for it. A lot of people um, were really loving it. So um, that is a possibility in the future, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. Okay, and there was one, I don't know if this got addressed yet. Um, somebody, uh, Cynthia Robinette asked if she can put it on if she already had a hard reline. Did you address that one already? No, I didn't, but that's such oh, a cool. Good uh huh. So yes, DentureFit can be used over a hard reline and it's very, very effective. Sometimes even 
Um, a dentist will do a hard reline and their patient is not getting really good suction. Um, I've had a dentist tell me, I put the denture fit right over the hard reline, voila, we got suction. So what it does is it really fine tunes the fit because the hard reline is not a super fine detailed impression, but once you put the denture fit on top of it, which is a lightweight impression material, then you have such a fine detailed impression, just fine tunes everything and makes everything fit a lot better. So the one thing you need to really remember about applying denture fit after you've had a hard reline done or even after you have had a new denture made is when that new denture or hard reline is polished at, you know, when your denturist polishes it, sometimes they might use a polishing compound that does not allow the denture fit to adhere to the denture. Um, it's a little bit from what I understand along the lines of, almost like it feels like almost a petroleum jelly. So if you, if you think about petroleum jelly being on this denture and me trying to apply this, it's not going to adhere. So what you wanna do is remove that polishing compound off of the denture, scrub your denture thoroughly with Dawn dish soap, really thoroughly, give it a thorough rinse and then take cotton with rubbing alcohol on it and wipe it, wipe it down many, many times until it feels squeaky clean and that you feel all that residue is gone off of it and then you shouldn't have a problem. And then as always, you know, when you're handling your, your denture, when you're doing uh, a denture fit, after you've cleaned it and you've primed it, you wanna hold your denture from the teeth you don't want it, don't, don't touch inside here, don't touch the edges. You've got oils on your fingers and they will transfer to the denture and prevent proper adhesion. So be careful about that. Leave it on the table or just really only hold it from the teeth side to make sure you get proper adhesion. Donna, you might can answer this. Um, let me scroll back up real quick so I get this correct name wise, but someone had asked, uh, how does the denture, how does denture fit work in the Dr. Berlin soak? Um, can you answer that one? Yeah, I can, unless Juliet has an answer. You have more experience with that than I do. Okay. Um, so denture fit in the Dr. Berlin soak, um, I was, um, using a different uh, soaking agent before I made the switch to Dr. Berlin's. And I was always very careful to only put the water up to the teeth line for any reline material that I had in my dentures. Um, I decided to get wild and adventurous uh, when I got my Dr. Berlin's liquid crystals in the mail and have soaked uh, both my upper and my lower um, in the denture fit in the Dr. Berlin soak for the recommended 20 minutes every single day. Um, I've filled it up over the top of the denture, um, over top of the denture fit and everything and had it in the sonic cleaner uh, for the entire recommended time. And then of course, rinse them off real good and put them in water overnight. And I've not had an issue. I've not experienced any premature peeling up of the denture fit. I've not experienced any kind of bloating uh, like you would get with your dentist soft reline material. And I've not experienced any um, funky taste or any funky smell um, or anything like that um, on the denture fit lining after use with Dr. B's products. That That's fantastic. I, I haven't heard one negative thing yet about Dr. B's products. So it's good to know it's working really well with the denture fit. Um, so I forget who just commented. Yay. Oh, Sherry. Okay, so right after my hard reline, can I put in denture fit? Yes. Just prepare it, prep it properly, and you can use it. And then there was another question up here. Um, Georgiana um, says, she asks, so should you wait a certain amount of time after E-Day to use denture fit? That's an excellent question. Yes. 
You need to get your approval from your dentist before you use DentraFit or any soft reliance um, over the counter. Your dentist needs to have approved you for a soft reline. They need to have said, yes, you are sufficiently healed to be able to have a soft reline. Whether the dentist does one or not, they have to deem you ready for it before you use DentraFit or, or do any soft reline. So if your dentist has said, yes, you are ready for a soft reline, it's okay for you now, you're healed up enough, then you're ready for DentraFit. You can use DentraFit. But one of, the, one of the dangers in using it too soon and without your dentist's approval is that when your teeth are extracted and your gums are healing, you know, your sockets form that little healing plug inside, which is like a little blood clot. And when you, when you put the silicone in your gum line, in the trough of your denture, and then you put it into your mouth, that silicone cures and it, it, it hardens. It doesn't get hard, you know, but it, it cures. And it does that inside of your mouth. Then when you pull your denture out of your mouth, well, you would pull out those healing plugs and you could get dry socket and really um, uh, put, you know, create some problems with you healing. So it's very important. Don't use denture fit until your dentist tells you, yes, it's okay for you to get a soft reline now, then you're good to use denture fit. Hope that answers your question. Looking for more questions here. I know that this one was addressed during the last broadcast, but I don't think this person was at that one. Um, Cynthia Robinette wants to know if she can use adhesive over her denture fit. Have you already covered that this time around? No, I haven't, but hi, Cynthia. How are you doing? Um, yes, you can. Uh, you'll want to use powder adhesive, though. Um, the paste and the creams are too slick to be able to adhere to the denture fit because the denture fit silicone is quite slick and smooth, so they don't go well together. However, the powder adhesive has a little bit of texture to it, and so it allows it to adhere. And the good thing about that is, you know, if you end up having to use powder adhesive over your denture fit, or you just want it because it just makes you feel more secure, there's nothing wrong with that. It's really helpful, um, and it cleans off out of your gums and your mouth way easier than paste adhesive. So a very light sprinkling of powder over the denture fit is perfect, especially for lowers and especially for people who have a flatter palate where they're not able to get great suction. It works beautifully. Thanks for that question, Cynthia. Oh, does Dr. B have powder adhesive? Good question. I don't know. Dr. B, do you? I haven't seen any. No, that's they don't have that. Uh, they just have the adhesive cream. Okay. I don't think they're here anymore. <laughs> oh, are they gone? Okay. I think so. I'll get with Dr. B and we'll develop some for denture fit. Woo. Oh, Francesca, this may be a silly question. Is there any kind of kind of mouth prep to be done when applying DentraFit? Um, Francesca, no question is a silly question. Okay, so that's a really good question, actually. Yes, actually, there is. So if you've been drinking coffee or you've been eating and then you apply your DentraFit, then that means that you have residues and oils inside of your mouth, which when you apply the denture fit to your denture, you seat it up in your mouth, that means those oils are then transferred to the silicone on your denture. Let's say you take it out, then you want to do a snug up, guess what's on the silicone uh, residue. Um, foreign substances, maybe oil from drinking coffee or whatever. So 
It's important to clean your mouth before you reline. So you wanna brush the entire inside of your mouth. Um, you'll see, um, I've seen a lot of people actually demonstrating that. I think Kyle, Kyle Bergman did one really great video about how he preps his mouth. Um, and so really brush the roof of your mouth, brush your gums, brush everything very thoroughly, rinse it, do mouthwash, and then rinse the whole thing out with water, and, and then you're good to go, ready to do your reline. Um, Sherry Harris, um, good question. Should any denture fit go on the palate if I have a soft reline? No, no. Think of a soft reline from your dentist, just like when you're doing a snug up with DentraFit. If, if there's already product on this palette, a soft reline material, do not ever put any more product on the palette. It only goes in the trough. So a soft reline from the dentist will cover the entire inside of your denture, right? It already has material here. So you would only apply the denture fit to the trough of your denture. Um, now priming, let's talk, about, let's talk about priming over a soft professional reline. We do want you to use primer over a soft professional reline, okay? The reason for that is that we don't know what soft reline material that your dentist has used. And so remember that the DentraFit primer has a slight tacky substance, an organic tacky substance inside of here that allows the DentraFit silicone to adhere to your denture. So if we don't know what kind of material your dentist used, we don't know if it was vinyl polysiloxane like DentraFit or not, use the primer you're going to prime all on the ridge. You're going to prime in the trough. And you're going to prime a quarter to maybe a halfway up the palate. But you don't need to prime the top of the palate because you're not putting dentrofit silicone here. You do need to prime everywhere else. Um, and then apply the dentrofit to the trough, the middle of the wall area. When I say the trough, I mean, you could put it in the middle of the bottom of the trough, but we like you to put it in the middle of the wall. Good question, Sherry, thanks. Oh yeah, uh, I see a um, comment from Margaret here, clean it, dry it, apply it. That video is really good, really good. The basics of prepping your denture before you apply any product, but especially denture fit. I remember that, that was a really good video, Margaret. Thank you very much. Did you yeah. see Samantha's question? I'm looking for Samantha's question right now. Right Let's, above. Okay, so I don't know why this arrow is in the way of all my questions, it's annoying. <laughs> Hold on, I minimize this. Okay, so do you know if it's been asked already, but, oh, how well does DentraFit work on bottoms, lowers? Probably our number one most asked question. Okay, here, hold on, I prepared something for you. So I was hoping this would come up. Okay, I've got an illustration here of what you can expect DentraFit to do on lowers, okay? It depends on how your lower is shaped. It depends on how your lower was made. It depends on how much gum, gum line you still have. So people who still have a really nice high ridge, um, and their denture was made like these with nice high walls, denture fit tends to work really well on. And the, these people with dentures like this, um, a lot of times they're actually able to go adhesive free. Not always, but a lot of times. 
adhesive free or slight sprinkling of powder. But unfortunately, all too often, we see a lot of this kind of denture going on where the sides, the walls are very short and the trough is very shallow. And the problem with this and trying to use denture fit is that there's not a lot of gum line and surface area for the denture to hang on to, to begin with. So denture fit cannot solve that issue. There's nothing about denture fit can, that can make this work. It can do a couple things. It will provide excellent cushioning. It'll feel a lot better. And if there are any voids in this type of denture that are causing looseness, the denture fit is going to fill those voids and make it snug, okay? But the thing that it cannot do is denture fit has no stickiness. So it cannot make that denture stay down on your gum line. Your denture still might wanna pop up. It still might wanna float. So what we recommend is a combination between denture fit and a powder adhesive. Denture fit fills the voids, it makes the cushioning happen, it feels great, and then the powder adhesive does the second job, which is make it stay down so it's not floating, it's not popping up. But um, you know, if you ever want to use denture fit on your lower denture and you're just not sure, you can always email pictures of your lower denture to help at denturefit.com and, and show us what does your denture look like and we can take a look at it and we can kind of generally estimate and help you give an eye, get a better idea of what DentureFit might do to your denture and how it might help you. Um, so hope that answers that question. Oh, Sherry says she messed it up once and put it on the palette too. Yep. Um, putting, putting denture fit on the palette after a soft reline will definitely um, mess up the fit. And putting it on again after you've done one application of denture fit, if you were starting from scratch, if you reapply it again to the palette, you're going to mess up your fit because what happens is that it builds the material up too high here. It makes the denture drop too low in your mouth. You might even feel like you have horse teeth. And when that happens, you're actually creating more void in the trough because now it's dropped lower. So you're gonna find yourself needing more denture fit and you're going to probably lose the suction. So, yeah, but if that ever happens to you, call us, we'll help you. Um, do you mind if I interject with a little application tip for that? Go for it. Okay, so um, how you said, Julia, that um, you prefer when uh, you advise folks to put the denture fit on the wall instead of directly in the base of the trough. Um, I actually do that, and for my upper, when I first put it into my mouth to spread the denture fit around, I will actually put pressure against the wall as I scoot the denture up, and that causes the denture fit to not only flow into the trough where it needs to be, but to climb up onto the palate in any void space that might be there as well. So that might be a little, a little tip or trick for folks to use that aren't already aware of that. Okay, and just make sure that, you know, when you do that, that the key to getting a good fit with denture fit is always to seat your denture up into your suction spot perfectly and firmly. Your denture has got to lay against the roof of your mouth as flush and tight and securely as possible in your suction spot. So one thing you never want to do when you're seating your denture, do not ever push it back. Don't push it back towards your throat. Even if you feel like you have a big gap on your front teeth here and you're going, oh my gosh, I'm so loose there. I have to snug up the front, so I'm going to push it back. Don't 
do it. Resist, resist that urge. It will mess up the fit of your palette and you'll throw everything off and you'll have to start all over again. So what you want to do is you're going to press your denture up right here in your suction spot towards the bridge of your nose. Hook your index finger over the bridge of your nose. You'll find this space becomes very short. And then you want to slightly even pull it forward because then it kind of hooks into your suction spot. Don't pull it forward to where you're not now out of your suction spot, but you just have to make sure it's really hooked in there like this. That's the key to getting a good fit with denture fit because if you think about it, when that happens, you're fitting this part perfectly, that's where you get your suction. When you're, when you're holding it up there, it allows the silicone in the trough area to travel to where the voids are, then it cures right there while your denture is up in your suction spot. When it's cured after the four minutes, then your denture stays supported up in your suction spot. And that's the beauty of denture fit. So if you mess up seating it, you've messed up the whole thing. And you know, not a big deal. You rip it out, call us, tell us what happened and we'll help you out and you can redo it. But that's the key to getting a good fit is making sure that suction spot is perfectly fitted um, to your denture. I, I see it. I see um, Sherry says use the whole kit. Yeah, you should use a whole kit usually. Um, one kit of denture fit is for one reline of one denture plate. So don't feel bad if you use the whole kit. That's what it's for. Most people require two tubes of silicone to get snug. Think about it. The first tube has a lot of real estate to cover because it's going over the entire denture, making one cohesive layer. That's what the first tube does, right? Normally people need a little bit more in the trough area to really finish filling that up. That's what the second tube is for. It finishes filling the voids and hopefully it gives you that flashing over the ridge right here, which makes that really, really nice seal. So normal is two tubes of silicone for one denture plate. Um, normal, pretty typical one for the lower. Usually one tube of silicone is good for the lower because there's not as much real estate to cover, right? You don't have a palette to work with, so you need less product. So what I find most often is one tube for the lower, unless somebody has a pretty large you know, mouth or they're super, super loose, they might need to. I see Margaret's up to something. She's asking who hasn't tried denture fit in the chat. Yes, I am. I'm looking for my winner. I love it when people are on here and they haven't even had their e-day yet and they're they're doing their research, they're gathering their information. I mean, what a wonderful thing YouTube is that that you have these resources, you know, available to you now and that you actually have denture fit now and you're not just stuck, you know, when, you're when your dentist says, oh, sorry, there's nothing I can do. Sorry, no, can't give you a reline. It doesn't come with your package or sorry, it's gonna cost you $250 for a soft reline. Um, thank goodness you have, you know, you have a stop gap, especially after you, you know, get your extractions and you're shrinking like crazy. Um, so, if there's any, if, if there's any, if there's, there was never a better time to go through this whole process than right now. You're in a better place than people were two years ago. Does that make sense? <laughs> Sue, I wish I had them back on my e day. 
Yeah, I think all of that absolutely makes sense. And what I'm really liking from the denture community that I see right now is that people are making informed decisions from all of the options that they're finding out about. A bad decision is an uninformed one. So um, for folks to not only tune in today, but also to the last one and possibly to the next one too, and gather up all of that information that they can on the decision to use denture fit is absolutely a fantastic decision because they've gotten so much information about it. I think it's fantastic. I think it's so awesome that people now are so open to doing a reline themselves at home. And it seems to almost becoming be becoming a, a little bit more commonplace where before not many people were doing it, but now they are. So they're learning how to help themselves. And that's fantastic because there is a place for adhesive. There really truly is. Adhesive can be um, super helpful. Um, but if you don't have to use it and if you don't have to be constantly um, swallowing, you know, the, the adhesives all day long and you can do without it or really minimize the amount, why, why wouldn't you? You know, why wouldn't you take that hassle out of your life if you, if you can? You know, for a lot of people, denture fit ends up being actually less expensive than adhesive over the long run. Who's Sweet Pea? Aww. Sweet Pea is Margaret. <laughs> I'm looking all over for Sweet Pea. Hey, I can be oh, sweet. Oh, Karen, does denture fit fit in the mailbox because I'm afraid it'll get sent to the wrong house? Um, yeah, yeah, it does. Hey, Angie, do you don't happen to have a denture fit box, do you? A packing box? Yep, oh, thanks. I'll show. I'll show you what one looks like really fast. But um, it's pretty small, and um, it fits in my mailbox. I have one of. Sorry, puppies barking. I have a mailbox where it has different compartments and the, you know, they just stick it in and there's a bunch of them together. Um, so if it fits in one of those little, you know, little cubicle, um, it'll, it'll fit in a regular size, you know, standard mailbox. I just wanted to say too, you know, along the lines of everybody sh showing up and asking their questions and getting information, it's been in the past that um, the dental community makes, puts a lot of mystery into things that your company is taking the mystery out of, like soft relines and, and doing more with your dentures for yourself. Um, so that's another thing that I really, really love um, about OTC Dental um, with the tutorial videos that you all have worked with um, Bill Westland to put up on uh, your channel and your website and everything. It just, it takes a lot of the mystery out of it and fear of the unknown is really putting the power back into the denture wearer's hands. So I think that's fantastic. I agree. Thank you. So here, thank you, Angela. So this is what one kit comes in, right? Okay. So this is what one kit arrives in eight by six by two. So, so this is an eight by six by two box. So if this can fit in your mailbox, you'll get it in your mailbox. Um, and this one is, oh, if you, if you order priority, okay. If you order priority, it's going to come in a box like this. One or two kits can fit in here. Two kits can fit in here, right? Yeah. Two kits can fit in here. Hope that helps. Thanks. You know, the other thing I wanted to mention, especially with lowers, is that, you know, I, I talk to a lot of dentists and denturists, and I ask them a lot, you know, why are we seeing so many dentures like this instead of like this? with the walls up nice and high, you, they can grasp onto the gums. Why do we see something like this over and over and over again, especially with the immediates? And the answer that I get a lot is that um, the dentists and denturists now are being trained more for preparing the mouth for implants and less emphasis tends to be on 
how to make a proper denture, how to make the denture properly, make it fit better. There seems to be less and less education on that. And so then we end up having, um, you know, people having more problems getting their dentures to fit properly. And then, you know, they're coming to denture fit to try to solve some of these issues. And sometimes, yeah, it makes it a whole lot better but sometimes it just cannot solve, denture fit cannot solve an improperly made denture or poorly made denture. And so one thing I want to encourage, um, you know, the denture community to do is be educated on what your denture should look like to make sure it fits properly. So, you know, the higher walls, if your mouth will accommodate it, um, the lower dentures that actually have the sides, the backs that look like this, that come all the way down to the bottom of your jawline here, that don't just come halfway up your gum line and float, but it really truly is going to take the denture community um, pointing this out to their dentists and their physicians and really insisting that these are made properly. And so, you know, you are going to be your best advocate. Um, I can't do that for you. Dr. B can't do that for you. So, so, you know, the denture community is really important that you really speak up. And, you know, when you're getting dentures made and they're not fitting properly or they, they're not having the tall walls and they're really shallow and you're having a hard time, then you do have to, you know, speak up. Let them know, okay, this is not working for me and, and, and figure it out. But you have to be your own advocate for that. And I just really, I see a lot more of that happening you know, the longer that we're in the denture community. And that's really good, really good. It's the only way that things will will change. Not everybody can afford implants. Um, I have a question. Is mm -hmm. it better to order from the website or from Amazon? Um, if you have promo codes, you can use those on our website where you cannot use them on Amazon. Um, we're able to have a better relationship with you. If you contact us directly, then we're able to help you on Amazon. So um, our preference is always going to be our website. I don't know if you caught that, but someone is watching. Her name is Carol. She wanted to know that she wanted to know if DentureFit smells like a nail salon, like most of the home reline kits. No, not at all. Not at all, Carol. Um, DentureFit is tasteless and odorless. It has no burning sensation. Um, none of that. It's one of the beauties of DentureFit. It's very, very, very gentle. Um, I'll tell you about Margaret's uh, special promotion for Margaret's. Uh, I actually kept it, I kept it exactly the same as Kayla's was last week and I didn't change anything. So we do have a special for Margaret. This is awesome. You get 20% off of your kit and a free tube of silicone for $39.96. Um, so what you do to get that deal is you put a kit in your cart at DentureFit.com and you put an extra silicone in your cart. You're going to enter the promo code Margaret <laughs> and then hit apply coupon. Then you enter the promo code LIVE, because we're on live stream, L-I-V-E, and hit apply coupon, and you will get the silicone, the extra silicone for free, and 20% off your kit, which is $9.99 off, and so you'll get three tubes of silicone, the primer, 
uh, the swabs for $39.96, and it's good until this coming Sunday, August 12th, and you can actually go and do it as many times as you want. So if you really wanted to um, take advantage of this and you can go back in there, complete one purchase, you can do a second purchase, do it as many times as you want. And if you want more details, just email us at uh, from our website and we can actually email this flyer to you. So you have the directions. I put the directions on how to do it there, but basically, Put a kit into your cart, put an extra silicone into your cart, say apply Margaret code, hit apply coupon, live apply coupon, you're good to go. I definitely want to say thank you. Nokomis, you. you're welcome, welcome Nokomis. Hey, Bill. Hi, Bill. How are you? Who's got another question? Oh, here's one that I actually got in my email. You, forgive me, I'm having a derp moment. My dog is barking. I got kids running through my house and somebody's knocking on my door. <laughs> what is the best way to get help if I mess up my application? Help at denturefit.com. Just email us. Um, you can go to our website, go contact us, send an email. Um, when you get your kit, there's going to be a little card in your kit and it has the email address right on that card. Just go help at denturefit.com. Tell us what the issue is and we will happily help you. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Margaret, did you have any more questions that were emailed into you? No, we cover, covered them pretty good, pretty much. Um, is that correct in the comments? It's help at denturefit.com, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. just want to make sure. H-E-L-P -H -E at denturefit.com. Remember, denturefit is with an S, D-E-N-S-U-R-E-F-I-T. Or call us, or just call us, 844-682-3368. We can help you. So our hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Pacific Time. Um, and you can call us, and, and we'll be there to help you. If you ever, um, if we ever don't answer, it just means that we're on the phone with other people at the moment, but leave a voicemail and we will call you back. For sure. Remember, if you mess something up or it just didn't go right or you're not getting a good fit, don't get mad. Just call us. We'll help you. Hey, Johnny's here. Johnny, you don't miss a beat, do you? <laughs> All right, Johnny, we'll get that redo done. I have a question. <laughs> what is the best way to store my partial tube that I didn't use? Did we cover that? I think last time we might have talked about that. Um, shout out to Barbara Rogers. Hi, Barb. Nice to see you too, I know. So many of you have talked to on the phone so much, so it's just so nice to see you pop up here. Um, so after you've partially used a tube of denture fit, yeah, you can use the rest of it. Um, there's a technique to doing that. Um, but just, you can store it in the refrigerator if you want. You can bring it to room temperature 30 minutes before you use it. Um, but I mean, really, if it's just in room temperature, just not too hot, um, you know, a cooler temperature is best for the primer and the silicone. Um, yeah, just, just store it with the cap on, just like you ended up using it. Um, 
no big deal. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. And how do I store unused primer? I'm sorry, I didn't add that. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a really good question. Yeah, because anytime you have leftover primer, keep it. You're going to find a use for it later on down the road where you will wish you had it, so never throw it away. So what you want to do is always, when you get your denture fit in the mail, make sure that cap is on very tight still. <laughs> and um, definitely you want to store it upright in the refrigerator um, tightly capped. So just keep this in mind. The hotter the weather, the warmer the environment, the more that this is going to want to evaporate. Even if it's, you know, if it's cap tightly capped, it's fine. So a cool place is good. What I do is I, I wrap mine up in a paper towel. I write primer on the outside, then I take a Ziploc baggie, I put it in, and then I find a little corner of the refrigerator that I know that the kids are not going to be in. Um, put it in the vegetable bin. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, upright, somewhere where people are not going to bump into it or throw it out. Make sure it's clearly marked. It'll be fine for a long time. Uh, Cynthia, absolutely. Uh Everyone will, that didn't make it tonight here on the live will actually have the opportunity to catch the replay. Absolutely. Uh, video and chat, everything. Uh, Sherry says, how do you get it out? Doesn't it harden in the tube? Okay, Sherry. So good question. After you use part of this, it hardens in the tip right here. Okay, because when these little mixing paddles mix it, that starts the curing process. So you squish some out and then it stays in here and it sets up. Then you cannot reuse this tip, okay? Um, but what you can do if you wanna go back and use the other half later is you can unscrew, you can unscrew this, okay? You can express the silicone right out of here. When I do it, I like to do it directly in the trough of the denture. Express it out. But remember, it's got to be mixed perfectly. So what I do is I put the tip back on and I just use it as a mixing tool. Mix it very thoroughly together. Very thoroughly. If you don't, it will stay sticky, it will not set up properly. So you've got to mix it very thoroughly and then spread it where you want. So here's the deal with the silicone. There are two substances in the mixing chamber. You'll see one is a little darker pink and one's a lighter pink. The two substances must be mixed thoroughly and completely in order for it to set up properly. So when this doesn't do it for you, you can hand mix it. Um, if you have, if you make a mistake and you actually turn this the wrong way or you turn this instead of this and silicone comes squishing out of the sides, don't use that silicone. It will not have the proper proportions to be able to mix thoroughly. You, you need to toss that and you need to call us and just tell us what happened. So if it squishes out the side, don't use it. That means you just did a boo-boo. You turned this or you turned that the wrong way. Um, but as long as you mix it properly, like, like I just said, un unscrew this, express it out, mix it thoroughly, you can still use it. It does not harden inside of here as long as this is airtight. As long as this tip is on, it's airtight. You're good to go. I'm trying to see what time is it. Um, we're actually going over an hour. Okay, 
All right, super. So um, you know what? Uh, I'll allow anybody else to ask another question or two. And if, if you have a question, put it up and then we'll, we will uh, sign out for tonight. Um, but, but before we do sign out, before I forget, Donna hosts next Monday. <laughs> um, and so same time, right? Five o'clock Pacific time, seven o'clock Central time, eight o'clock Eastern time, different place. It's gonna be on Donna's, parties at Donna's house next time. So make sure you join us on Donna Sloan's channel next Monday, especially if you mull stuff over and you have extra questions to ask. Uh, make sure you get them to me on Donna's channel next Monday. Um, I do want to announce my winner that I did pick, if I may. Yeah. Uh, and the person that I picked for the giveaway DentureFit kit is Sue Shook. Hey, Congratulations, Sue. Sue Shook. Congratulations, Sue. Sue, if you want any help with that, application call us we'll help you through it we'll give you a one-on-one -on -one tutorial that's a standing invitation for anybody who uses DentureFit, of course um and then um you know like we always say if you have any problems with the application if you give it a go on your own and you don't get a good fit or you make a mistake don't worry just call us we'll help you uh dana says a deeper trough works better with DentureFit. yes but this is true. That goes for the upper, it goes for the lower as well. Deeper trough means there's more surface area for the denture to hang onto your gums. And so any denture is gonna generally fit better than a super shallow denture where there's not enough surface area on the denture to hang on to your gums. So gum lines that are still taller and more prominent will generally get a better result than gum lines that have lost a lot of bone and tissue um, and, and they're really shallow, they're going to have a harder time, you know, getting that denture fit to stay on their gum line. And, but powder adhesive is your best friend along with your denture fit. Remember that. Um, I have a question. Is um, there a timeline when that, when Sue Shook has to get to you to claim her prize? No, she can just, um, Sue, just go ahead and email, email us through our website and say, hey, I'm Sue Shook and I need your address, your phone number, your email address. Tell me where to ship it. And um, no, we'll get that to you whenever, whenever you get us the info. Oh, Tracy says, thanks for the information. I have not used my denture fit. And now I'm ready when I decide to use it. All right, Tracy, if you need our help, give us a call. I'm excited for you. <laughs> Cynthia, I wish I had taller gums. I wish I, I guess I was blessed to have any at all. Aw, Cynthia, you're a sweet, wonderful person and we are blessed to have you here. <laughs> You're welcome, Sue. All right. I think I'm going to sign out for tonight. So I look forward to seeing you all. Have your friends who are denture wearers. Um, go ahead and tune up in with us on Donna's channel next, uh, next Monday. I look forward to seeing you all. And if you have questions ahead of time, you want to email in that you want me to answer on the live stream, just email them to um, DentureFit through our website, and I will make sure that I cover them. Thank you, and I will see you Monday. We appreciate thank you, you all. all. <laughs> yes, thank you. thank you so much, Margaret and Juliet. You guys are amazing and awesome, and I'm happy to be along for the ride. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you Margaret and Donna, for hosting. Thank you, guys. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, that was so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say thank you to everyone that is here, has been here. Your questions were awesome. If you have a question, definitely bring it to Juliet or save it for next Monday, August the 13th on Chomper Chat. Woohoo! We're going to do this again. Thank you so much, everyone. Congratulations again to Sue Shook. 
Yes, Woo-hoo. congratulations, Sue. I'm so stoked for you right now. Yeah. Dana, Donna, Dana. Your name is Dana right now, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, <laughs> always, always. Oh, and thank you, you Mark. Night. I'm so, so happy to, to be along for these. I, I actually learned so much. It was so Absolutely. amazing. Isn't it amazing the dent, the lower dentures? A lot of people that don't know about that and the product, they want to blend the They want to blend the product. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Go for it. Okay, Peter, I'm doing a live. Get going. Have fun. <laughs> Thank you, Bill, for stopping by. Thank you, Dr. Berlin. Thank you, Steve from Dentrofit. Thank you guys for stopping by. Stable Dent Montana was here also, so thank you to them. No. Oh, yeah, I saw them in the comments right at the beginning. Stable Dent was here. Oh, um, I told you I'm a PM. Well, thank you for Stable Dent for stopping by. <laughs> I apologize. Well, the chat was moving. Yeah, it was. I honor these companies stopping by and supporting, you know? Um, Sherry and Megan, yeah, there's going to be another giveaway next week on my channel. So, um, yeah, guys, if you didn't, uh, get one from last week's broadcast or from this week's broadcast, make sure that you tune in, bring your questions and there'll be another opportunity for, um, another denture fit gift away next week. Someone just said, hold up from denture fit. Oh. No, I right know. now. Melissa, I will find you. <laughs> we need to go find her for real. Right? Oh, another one for tonight, Steve? What? 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 I missed something again. What's going on? Dentrofit says hold up. And Dentrofit offered another giveaway. No way. Ooh. Are, we are we picking another one or is he picking someone oh, right now? Shut yeah. Up. Girl. Oh, my God. Ah, I'm so stoked right now. This is amazing. Dentrofit is like the best, most generous customer servantist company I've ever seen in my life. Steve will donate. So how we pick someone or does Steve, you want to pick them? Pick them, Steve. Do it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You pick, Margaret. You pick. Go on. We're not, we're not starting this right now. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going up to the, I'm going up the chat because I want to give to someone that does not have, have not tried. Hold on. Give me one second, guys. Ooh, what a, don't you just love the random? Okay. Right? Yes. That's fantastic. Oh, we're getting a new round of me's. Who has not tried it? Let's do it right now. Who has not tried it? Okay. I'm let the chat to... pick. You got an hour. <laughs> or let the chat pick. Seriously, Steve. Okay. I will pick Georgiana Sanders. You are the winner. Hooray. Congratulations, Georgiana. Yeah, Stable Dent was here and said that um, they've gotten reports that their product works really well with the Interfit. Doug caught it. Good eye, Doug. Steve, thank you so much for the for the extra donation for a giveaway. I mean, th really, thank you. Thank you so much, Steve. We appreciate you and all the hard work you do. Thank you so much. All right, guys, are we ready to tie it off? Because I got dogs to walk. Again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was so random. Don't you love it? Yes. Congratulations, Georgiana Sanders, right? Yeah. And uh, Sue, Sh Sue Shook, make sure you send your information into DentureFit. Congratulations, guys. All right, Donna, I'm out of here. Good night, everyone. Uh, thanks for all you do for the community. Thank you. Thank you, guys. See y'all Monday.
Yes, thank you, everybody. We'll see you again for another uh, Dendrofit Q and A on Monday on my channel. Just YouTube search for Donna Sloan, and I really should be the only one that comes up because I mean, really, like they'd make more than one. <laughs> That's it. Good night, everyone. Good night, Bill. I'm clicking off now, guys. Peace. Good night, everybody. <laughs>